What's up, y'all? It's Will King coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. This is The Bridge. This is where I do all the magic. Just wanted to say I am so excited today to bring you guys my brand new project called Globetrotter Side A. What is Globetrotter Side A? Globetrotter Side A is a project we've been working on for like the last four or five years. It is a culmination of many different talents from all around the world. In fact, it's 11 songs. Each one was recorded in a completely different country. So where did we go? Where did we go? I don't know. Where did we go? We went all over. We went to Europe. We went to Norway. We went to some amazing places. some not so amazing places. <laughs> it's taking us all over the globe and we're really excited to offer it to you. So we just like to take you on a journey, a musical journey around the world. This project uh, was really about uh, two things. I wanted to kind of go back and capture kind of the spirit of the way music was done back when I was growing up with real instruments and real musicians, real artists writing real songs, and um, also wanted to capture some of the energy from my travels around the world. So every place I go inspires a new vibe, a new image, and I wanted to kind of capture that and bring that to the, to the writing. Attention, all passengers, we're now boarding all seats, all rows for flight 723, born for Cairo. So the first song on the CD is really special because I wanted to do something different. I wanted to try to take three movements and make one song uh, in three movements, meaning that there's a kind of a beginning and then there's like a, a middle and an end and it just kind of continuously morphs. It's instead of doing like a verse and a chorus type of thing, I want to just have the music kind of just morph like a, a kaleidoscope, you know? You turn the scope and the bits of glass just kind of, you know, morph and shape. And it's all the same glass, but as you turn it, it looks different and it morphs into different shapes and it stops in interesting places, you know? And I wanted to do something like that. Um, the vocalist on that is Ramona Dunlap, wonderful, wonderful singer who uh, I actually went to school with uh, back at the Performing Arts High School. We spent many years together there and uh, have been in touch uh, over the years. She's a phenomenal singer now out of New York. She's worked with uh, Pieces of a Dream and she's doing a lot of solo work out there and she's just got an amazing, amazing voice. She's about like, you know, two foot seven, but she sounds like she's eight foot nine. She's just huge, huge voice. And um, also Nadia Turner, um, an actress here in LA, did the voiceover work on that. The water is rhythm. So another song on the CD, Morena, was actually the first song. It's got kind of a, a huge Latin influence and I wanted to do something um, that kind of took me to, to Spain. And um, I wrote that song when I was on tour. I think it was my very first time in Europe and we had gone to the south of France and there's a fort in the south of France just kind of along the, the southern uh, tip there in Nice, I think. And um, you look off the fort and there's water that swirls at the base of the uh, the base of the fort, and the way the water would swirl and kind of come together, there's times it would look like a woman. I thought to myself, you know, what what kind of story might this woman have? You know, a woman made out of the ocean. So Marena means woman of the ocean. 
And uh, there's a lovely jazz singer and artist out of uh, Madrid, Spain, uh, named Cece, who did the voiceover poem for me in the, in the uh, intro. And my good friend Sebastian Gosnell, who's a wonderful jazz pianist and uh, friend, uh, helped me with the Spanish translation on that. So it was a really cool um, project. We recorded um, pieces of that in Madrid, Spain. Yeah. Yeah, so let's talk about Red Light. Red Light is one of the funkier tracks on, uh, on the project, and uh, it's actually about a dancer um, that I saw in Europe, and I knew I wanted to get some of that Minneapolis-type vibe, so when you got funk, you got to involve Minneapolis. And when you got to involve Minneapolis, you got to call people that know how to bring Minneapolis work. So uh, no better person I could think of than Raymond McKinley, who is uh, Sheila E's musical director, excellent bass player, pocket for days. I haven't heard anybody connect like Ray Mac on pocket and just seasoned playing and just so tasteful in the feels that he does and the, the way that he plays, the way that he honors the, the music and the groove. So it's a real honor and just an exciting moment to have him on this track. Uh, he brings the whole thing to life. And also on this track, we got to work with African-born artist, Kenyatta, Empress K. Lovely, beautiful uh, model and actress and singer out of, um, she's actually living in Italy now. And so we were able to connect and record pieces of this um, there on the island of Itzchia. I think I'm saying it right. Probably not, because I'm American. And uh, <laughs> she was just great to work with. True professional. She came in, knocked it out in three seconds. So uh, lovely, lovely talent. Check out her work. So there's an ocean motif, if you listen to the lyrics, that kind of weaves to the whole project. And uh, I kind of wanted to solidify it with the ballad on the project. So for the song, Ride the Wave, we literally took a boat from Naples, which is um, in the south of Italy, up to uh, Rome, so that I could uh, connect with these phenomenal Italian musicians. My good friend, Eduardo Tancredi, who is an excellent Italian drummer and good guy, and we were able to link up with Mario Guarini, who is one of the top call uh, session bassists in Italy, and he has recently worked with Vinnie Cagliuta, and he's got his own solo project, and he does some amazing bass work out of there, so we were able to connect and record the parts in um, just outside of Rome in the studio there, uh, and that was a fantastic experience. I wanted to get a different feel on the track, um, and these guys are both really aware of soul music and what's going on in America, but they're also connected to what's happening in Italy. So I thought it'd be a good idea to blend the two worlds across the ocean and see what we could come up with, and I'm really, really pleased with it. It's one of my favorite tracks on the whole project. So big thank you to those guys for connecting and making that Italian job possible. trip around the world be without a stop back through my hometown, Louisville, Kentucky, where I was uh, coming up as a youngster. And uh, what better way to, you know, represent the 502 than the legendary supergroup player, no doubt. And I uh, called my man Ben Blackbush to come and hum a few notes on this. And uh, he came through in magnificent splendor. So yeah, the song is called Let the Music Take Me. And I wanted this song to feel like he took out an old vinyl record, put it on the record player, dropped the needle, sat back, kicked it with your significant other, and um, 
that feeling, you know, just the feeling of good music, good vibes, and how music can just carry the, uh, the pain of every day uh, away, you know. Music is my therapy, music is my healing place. So when I think about music, I think about healing myself. And so what can I say? It's nothing but a blessing from God that we're still able to do music after all these years. Uh, still do what we love. And they're out right now touring with uh, Drew Hill, doing a kind of a 90s R&B review. So proud of them and Lincoln Bridge and all the other uh, vocalists and artists that come out of the Ville. It's a rich history of music out of Louisville, Kentucky. I'm proud to be a part of that history. And uh, I had to have somebody uh, come and represent for that. So I was so happy to get a chance to work with Ben. It's been a long, long time since we uh, worked together and he came through and put it down. Uh, some surprises at the end of this song too, so you guys gotta check out the extended version. Just a heads up, if you're listening to the Spotify version of the tunes, the seven inch short, you're not gonna hear the full tune. You gotta come over to the website and check out the full version of the song and you get a real treat at the end of this song. We took it back. Uh, so I almost spoiled the surprise, but make sure you get the 12-inch version, extended remix uh, for download, available for download only, um, so that you can get the full effect. But no, it was a it was a real treat to work with Ben. He's a humble brother, but he's got so much soul. It's just I was having church in the studio, just like listening to this brother sing. So it took me back, and it took me back to um, my roots coming up in the Ville, it just seems like every voice that I work with from the Ville is steeped in soul and steeped and rooted in, uh, in realness. And that's what I uh, appreciated growing up and that's what I was glad to connect to, you know, going home. So that was a real treat. So make sure you check that tune out. Let it take me higher. So the cover art, the cover art was a journey in itself. That was designed uh, with a wonderful, um, Grecian artist out of Athens, Greece. Her name is um, Athena, Athena F. Yeah. She uh, helped me put this together. Basically, it's um, it was really fun to come up with like different things from around the world that kind of inspired me. Uh, there's a lady from Brazil, who was obviously from the carnival, and there's a water motif in there that represents uh, the Blue Lagoon in Reykjavik, Iceland, where I recorded some of the parts for the album. And uh, that water just kind of reminds me of like blue peppermint, you know, getting melted into a swimming pool. So it's just got a whole magical, magical vibe. And then the children playing in the fire hydrant, that's like a, a throwback to when I used to spend the summers uh, with my dad in New York City. And uh, some days it gets so hot, we break the, <laughs> the uh, nozzle off the fire hydrant and just let the water pour out. And it was just such a cool relief. And it was so fun, and we knew we weren't supposed to do it, but you know, it was just kind of a fun vibe. And um, everything in that mural just means something to me. So we hope you enjoy the Globe Charter project. Um, it, we've had a good time making it. We've had a good time writing. We have a good time recording it. There's so many wonderful artists and musicians on this project. We've got Yohei Nakamura all the way from Japan. We've got uh, Ann King on trumpet. We've got Tony Austin, who plays with Kamasi Washington, phenomenal drummer. Um, so many talented people in so many different places, so many different cultures, and uh, it's all wrapped up in this bundle. So, little unknown fact for music lovers out there, a lot of you guys might not know, streaming services do not pay artists enough money to support the music. We cannot live on .0008 cents or less, which is what Spotify and some of the other streaming services are paying out to artists right now. We need your support. We need you to actually buy our CDs, come to the show, and we need your support in order to continue to bring good music. So if you love the music and you really like the artists, please, please support us. We're asking that you go to patreon.com and uh, follow the links. There is a spot where you can buy the Globe Trotter bundle. The Globe Trotter bundle, check it out! Globe Trotter bundle, check it out. Globe Trotter bundle is uh, a bundle. It's a bundle. That's why we call it the Globe Trotter bundle. And in that bundle, you will get a Globe Trotter CD. You will get 
a digital download of that CD. You will get Globetrotter Side B. Globetrotter Side B is the second part of this project. We hope to have that out in 2019. So be on the lookout for that. But in order for this to come to fruition, we really need you guys to log on and pay for uh, pay for the CD and support real music, support real artists. We just ask your continued support. Please head over to www.wil-key.com. One L, one love. Thank you so much.